Hello and welcome to today's model workshop. Uh, this is my next project. It's a P51D Mustang, 132nd scale, by Hasegawa. Uh, it's a bit of an old kit, so if you look up here, copyright 1987, um, and I actually have read online that it's a 1980 kit, and it's possibly even a retooling of a 1960s kit. So, perversely, I like to take older kits and try and bring them up to modern standards. Um, you know, partly it's just because I'm cheap and partly I enjoy the scratch building that's involved in that. So yeah, I mean this isn't going to win any prizes compared to a brand new Tamiya that's going to cost you 150 bucks compared to this bad boy which cost me I think about 30 bucks. So yeah, let's have a look in the box and see what's inside. Taking the lid off. We've got our instructions. Pretty standard. Um, looking through the instructions, I can see already there's going to be, I had a bit of a quick look before this, there's going to be a fair bit of detailing involved. So, for example, the engine, quite some scope for detailing there. The cockpit, oh my god, I mean, look at how basic that is. Um, you know, there is biker all to work with there, so lots of scratch building there. Um, seat belts, instrument panels, going to need a bit of work. You know, you could buy resin kits that, you know, aftermarket details that bring it up to speed, but I, I, my preference is really for building it myself. I just love that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so there are some wing cannons that will be visible. Um, I'm a little concerned about the thickness of the sort of wing work there, but we'll see. Maybe I'll have those on display, maybe not. At the very least, drilling out some barrels. And what else do we have? The wheel wells, I'm pretty sure, are going to need a fair bit of detailing as well. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at what's in the plastic bags. I'll just open the plastic. So, at the very first we've got some beautiful clear plastic for the canopy. Pretty happy with that. Uh, the fuselage, I can see, might need to do some work drilling out holes on these bits here and here. Those little sort of filters. Uh, Inside, there's a couple of sink marks that will need some cleaning. I'll try and get those visible to you so you can see there, there, right in the canopy, um, in the cockpit. So, yeah, there's a bit of work involved. Compared to a modern kit, there's a lot of work involved. The uh, instrument panel, yeah, nothing special. Um, look, yeah, there's definitely scope to improve the seat, oh my god. Yeah, the, the pilot's seat definitely needs a bit of help. <clears throat> um, I'm not a big fan of rescribing rivet detail. I find that you know, for all the effort involved, it's not that big a, a payoff, and it's just a bit too fiddly for my liking, to be honest. Um, yeah, these rivets on these tail planes look pretty okay. I'm not sure if you're picking up the detail in my camera there. Let me just see what I can do. Let's try and get some rivets visible. Yeah, so you can see them there. They're not too bad. I don't think that's really worth doing. And... Wings. Again, rivet detail's pretty good to me. Let's get in close. Ugh, struggling to focus. Come on. Look. It's hard to show you here, but trust me, the rivet detail is not too bad. Great camera work. God. Yeah, I'm just going to stop trying to do that. That's boring for everybody. And the final thing is... Oh, yes, the wheel well. I was going to show you that. So, look, there's a there's some detail in there. Come on. There, that's better. So, there's some detail in there, but there's a lot of scope for improvement. <clears throat> Finally, ah, you can see the receipt where I bought it back in 2013. It's been sitting in my stash for the last three and a half years. And finally, we have our decals. So I've already chosen which of the two uh, colour schemes I'm going to go with. Um, was considering going online and purchasing some decals, but I think at this stage, I'm not going to worry about it. So there we go. <coughs> I think it's going to be fun. It's definitely what I enjoy when I make a plane. So it's a bit of a departure for me. I've made a lot of armour lately. 
It's a bit of a departure for me in going back to an aeroplane. I do have a few other 132nd planes floating around the place. I'll show you very quickly. So I've got Spitfire, uh, Russian PE-2, I think it's called, uh, Fock Wolf, uh, American plane precursor to a uh, precursor to a Warhawk. I've got a Stuka that I love, all in 132nd, a Hurricane, and a Zero, and a French Dewanite right at the top there. So, yeah. Let's go back to the workbench. So I think it's going to be fun. It's very much what I enjoy, is taking an older kit and bringing it up to modern spec. We'll see how it goes when I'm in the middle of scratch building. I could be cursing it. But at this stage, let's get stuck in. New project, bring it on.